The lecture was based on what we know about uh, the need of increase the quality and the quantity of hard and soft tissue around dental implants. This issue became very, very important during the last years because we understood that as we want to respect exactly the position of the implant to be in the right position for the crown and we want to maintain the right diameter of buccal plate and to have the right soft tissue, we very often need to graft. And in the last years, we understood also that we need a wide portfolio of solutions for that. We cannot very easily to have a gold standard for all the indications. So we can move from autologous bone, that is for sure one important device for us because we have some induction with autologous bone, but we also need very long-standing biomaterials like bovine bone. In other cases, we want more resorbable biomaterials like artificial materials. And of course, we have also human biomaterials that are uh, not allowed in my country to be used, but in most of countries is possible and is uh, very effective. And both these biomaterials offer a wide portfolio of solutions, also in terms of membranes. For example, is the uh, 10 years from the introduction of JSON membrane this year, and this tool is also very effective and it can help for many different classes of biomaterials. And talking about the soft tissue, another gold standard is of for sure the connective from the patient, from the pellet or from the tuberosity. It remains a gold standard because we have some proliferation, we have a good keratinization, but very often we cannot use just this product because we need more quantity, for example, or because the conditions of the patient are not exactly the ideal condition to receive a double surgery approach. So in many cases, we can use some porcine dermis matrix who help to get more material, to get more volume, and to get more stability of the soft tissue. So these double classes of biomaterials, hard tissue and soft tissue, became very, very important in my practice. What we can say is that, like always, is fundamental, is mandatory to have a plan before moving the hands. And nowadays we have a lot of specific tools, software, where we went upload the DICOM files for radiology and the STL files, so we can plan exactly what we need in regeneration. We can upload the uh, works up the desirable teeth of the patient so we have under control the hard tissue, the soft tissue and the ideal prosthetical outcome that we want to achieve. So we understand before the right biomaterial, the right technique, the right strategy for our regeneration. So the take home message is plan, plan and plan again before moving the hands.